Okay, so, sorry I'm zoomed in so much, but this is to show you something. So, uh, I've now captured with the Sony V1, with the Apple ProRes 422. I'll probably show you that right now. Before you even start your capturing, you come up to uh, your final cut. You go to Audio Video Settings, and then you're going to come over here, and your capture preset is your important one. To do the 24 frames a second, you need to be an Apple ProRes. Usually, if you're recording anything else, I'm you, you know, if I'm doing 60i, if I'm doing a wedding or something, or you know, a show or something, something that doesn't need to be filmic. If I'm not shooting the camera, I'm not shooting the camera in 24 setting. Um, I usually am, am capturing here, but for this case, the uh, the help up here, the wonderful, uh, uh, I don't know where it is, the help says that for 24 frames, you want to go Apple ProRes HQ is you know, high quality. In the camera, you want to shoot on, there's a couple different pr progressive scan modes. There's 24, which is the 24 look, and there's 24 something, there's 30p, and then there's 24a. That's the, that's where Sony tricks you. You need to shoot the camera in 24a. That's the one that ends each frame, or starts each frame on an A frame. So, you saw that video. I'll come in here again. I seem to have lost the... Alright, I'll come in here again. I'm on that capture preset, but that's that's besides the point. Here's some of my footage, right here. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is, when you drop your footage into frame, here's my, my little bit of stuff right here. When you drop your footage into frame, you know, usually, in, if, you have a, if you have an up-to-date Final Cut Pro, it's going to ask you to send this, this question. You know, your, set, your, your sequence settings aren't the right, uh, you know, your sequence settings aren't 24p. So do you want to do that? And yes, you do. And the best thing you can see, when you drop it down here, the best thing you can, you, you, the thing you want to see, or at least the thing that I was amazed finally when I finally got it to work, was the advance, you know, forward a little bit. You know, I'm hitting the wrong keys. You advance forward, and then you got, you know, there are your frames. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 1. So 24 frames in a second using the V1. Boom. There it is again. And when I saw that, finally, and I had to figure all this stuff out, I was very, very, very happy. I'm probably out of focus right now. I just did all that so you can see it. So uh, unless you, uh, you know, for those of you who can, don't know, you can shoot t natively 24p, and, it, and it's 1080 because that's what, that's what it shoots. It doesn't shoot, my camera doesn't shoot 720. So you're shooting 1080p. 24 frames a second with the Sony V1U. This beautiful camera right here. Uh, other than the fact that uh, the capture time uh, is uh, long as hell, you know, it, it will. And as soon as, and you know, if I'm going to do some good films, I'm going to rent a Red Rock and put some 35 millimeters on there. And then I've seen some footage online that looks sick. But all right, Steve DeCasse again, and this has been a long video. Bye.